today's video I'm focusing on maybe zero to six months with time. So we think that cheating comes with lots of um, illness. You know, those are all myths of um, cheating. So a pediatrician will tell you that cheating doesn't cause fever, doesn't cause diarrhea. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about parenting, well-being and lifestyle in general. So if you're new here, my name is Cynthia Ofadile. Let's dive in. In today's topic, when can I start brushing my baby's teeth? Please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Sometimes, you know, parents, we are worried about um, our babies especially when they are still infants you know from the very zero to six months old when they are so delicate you know so you'd be like um, you'd be so worried they don't have teeth am i supposed to brush their mouth what do i do with their gums they've only got gums yes you can clean their gums you can clean their tongue as well because they take milk isn't it they they, they breastfeed or they bottle feed so all these things can bring about bacteria in the mouth so they also need to be clean to get it while if not the child might have start having like a mouth odor which as a parent no one would you know want a baby to have a mouth odor so how can you do that it's you know easy peasy what you just need to do i just remember when i my kids were little i just use a a, a towel like this or a flannel so i just put like a small size of you know toothpaste which is uh, the age recommended toothpaste zero to two years old so i just use a, a very tiny bit and then i'll just rub it in their mouth which smells so nice then <laughs> so yeah make the the towel a little bit damp and then you put it in the in the mouth you rub it gently in a circular motion rub the gums and also try to wipe the the tongue as well when you're doing this you notice that the the white particles you see you know on your baby's tongue like white patches there that has been deposited for some time you know if you, if you can you can do it every day if not try to do it couple of days in a week you know as parents we tend to get also worried when they start teething that's another major problem or major issue parents face i also faced that as well i was uh, a little bit worried but when you talk to pediatricians they'll be like ah oh, you don't need to use a teething gel i also advise not to use a teething gel you know they'll just say leave the the tooth to to cut through you don't think your baby is in pain give them a paracetamol the doctor will also advise me then or the midwife will say to me to use uh you know the teething beads or teething toys the kids have got just put them in the freezer when they get cold you bring it out give it to the, the baby your baby will use it to massage their gums you know it will help them to relax at that point in time to reduce whatever irritation or discomfort you know they're having on, in their mouth so you can give them toys that they can use to massage their mouth or like scratch their gums that way it will help them also to relieve the pain but if you're worried about anything as usual it's best to consult your doctor or your midwife or your nurse who has the best professional advice to give i'm just saying it based on my own advices as a mom and the experiences i got during my own time when my kids were cheating so that's it generally you know how we can look after our kids uh, babies most especially so if your baby doesn't cut suits you know early enough don't worry about it they'll still cut it when they are ready to you just have to help them give them the you know things that can help suit them make them feel comfortable like toys just to distract them at that point in time so that's it parents we are worried about when the teeth start coming when can i start expecting my child's teeth to you know come through or when are they going to cut through their tooth or teeth so mostly most babies start from six months to ten months 
they start getting the 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 lower incisors so they start coming through and then follows the upper one sometimes it can be delayed like my son's uh, delayed to up to, up to when he was 10 months old and I was, at a point I was really concerned why it was he not coming through but when it came through he had four come through at the same time you know so yeah so that's the still talking about the teething as well because um most times we think that teething comes with lots of um, illness no those are all myths of um, teething so a pediatrician will tell you that teething doesn't cause fever it doesn't cause diarrhea what causes diarrhea is because the child has been picking lots of things because they're trying to soothe their mouth or whatever you know trying to scratch the irritation or the discomfort in their mouth so they pick everything they see on the floor and put in their mouth and that can also irritate their tummy and bring about diarrhea so but as parents you know it's our duty to keep encouraging them to feed because sometimes when they are teething it's quite hard to feed them I, I experienced that with my kids as well, but I kept on giving them lots of liquid. So I'll make pap, we call it akamo. So and add some mashed bananas into the akamo and mix it very well. Put it in their feeding bottle, give them, and even put some fruit in a fruit feeder. Give them the you know the kind of suck it when they're sucking it, they're getting the nutrients, making them stronger, you know. They, they were not sick the entire time they were teething because I kept on making sure that their fluid intake was at maximum so if we can keep doing this if they are teething you don't just believe oh my child is teething the teething caused them to become ill no they are not supposed to get ill with teething teething just makes them have some discomfort you know around their gum but it shouldn't like cause fever or the likes of it or infection what brings about infection if the child is malnourished when they are not feeding very well and when they start picking things from the floor and you know putting in their mouth and stuff so and they start getting like uh, you notice sometimes we notice uh, when they're teething they start having like greenish poo they're having their greenish poo because they are malnourished malnourished is as a result if the child is not getting all the nutrients they need to get you know for them to grow you know, now I'm talking lots of things now so anyway the general thing here is um when a child is teaching you know we should keep encouraging them to feed or to drink something making sure they, they take lots of things and um, if you notice anything abnormal with your child the best thing the first thing to do is to go to a hospital to speak to your doctor but other than that don't start using lots of concussions here and there you know mixtures someone will say mix this herb mix that herb and give to your child no the best thing if you're not sure is to talk to a doctor that's the final answer <laughs> right guys i know so you know about kids it comes with a lot of worry when my kids were little i was just so worried to the point that uh, i had to be calling the the doctors all the time they knew me then they'll be like Mrs. Ofodile, how can I help you today? Yes, my child is this one, my child is that one, but it's good you go there, they know you, that you stay at home and say, oh, let me try this herb and try that one. So that's it, guys. Um, If you have any questions or anything you're, you know, you're worried about, you want to share with me or anything you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comment section below and um, I'll reply as soon as i can and we can even do more videos which you will like you want us to talk about so that will be all for now and i hope to see you in my next video you can also watch some of our videos where i've talked about um, protecting your child's teeth and about gum disease that can give you some ideas about you know normal dental routine we need to be doing at home Right, see you in my next video. Bye for now.